What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we are rocking out with an awesome Trick Room team that features Ice Rider Kylarx, Kyogre, and Alolan Malwak. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, seriously, get on top of that. Click that big red subscribe button and join the Jeans community. It really does go a long way. So I'll give a huge shout out to everybody support me as a subscriber. But let's get started here in the top left corner, starting off with the one and only Kyogre. One of the best restricted mods in this series. It's Rock and Drizzle. It's Rock, rock and Mystic Water as its ultimate ability. And we got Protect, Water Spout, Origin Pulse, and Thunder for this thing's beautiful move set. Right next to him is going to be the the Loma Malwak over here. And this Pokemon is super, super cool. I really like it. It's just fire and ghost typing, which is it's just amazing. And then we got the lightning rod to protect ally Pokemon such as Kyogre from lightning moves. We got the thick club to make it do more damage. And then Poltergeist, Flare Blitz, and Brick Break for its moveset. Middle left is going to be our speed control tornadoes with that mental herb and prankster. We're rocking hurricane, tailwind, leer, and protect. So really, really cool moveset. We got the, tail the tailwind for the speed control, hurricane for heavy hitting stab damage. And then we also have the leer for that defense drop to make physical attackers do more damage such as Malwak or Calyrex. Bottom left hand corner is going to be Urshfu. I haven't used this Pokemon in a good bit. And you guys know I love me some Urshfu. Definitely a cool Pokemon. Really, really good in a bunch of different situations. It's got Unseen Fist so it can hit through Protects. We also are rocking the Choice Scarf for first turn priority. Then we got Weakness Policy, Close Combat, Sucker Punch, and u -turn. Final Pokemon on the squad is going to be our support in DD over here. Psychic Surge, Psychic Seeds, Expanding Force, Follow Me, Helping Hand, and Protect. Everything's pretty normal with that, but it works so well. We had to roll out with that Pokemon. Guys, if you want to try this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Let's get some wins with this Alolan Malak Trick Room Series 12 team. Let me clear my eyes real quick. Am I seeing this right? Toxtricity in ranked double battles? I love it. I love it. I use this Pokemon a few times, and I just, it's just so much fun. And I haven't seen it in a while, so this battle is going to be cool. We're going up against a Grimstraw, Necrozma Duskmane, alongside with Shadow Rider Calyrex, and Cinderace Landorus team right here. But how should we go into this? How should we play? I'm just, I'm, I'm stunned. This guy's rocking Toxtricity. Such a cool Pokemon. Such a cool Pokemon. But uh, I think we're going to rock out with, uh, we got to pop a Trick Room, right? We have to pop a Trick Room. So we're going to go Calyrex here, and I think Ndidi. Calyrex and Ndidi, drop a follow, maybe cut him off from there. Yeah, I'm digging it. I'm digging it a lot. We'll roll out with them too. Trick Room can get popping. We'll bring Alola Malwak, and then I think we just bring Kyogre for like back end support. I do like it. Let me see Kyogre's uh, speed as well. He's rather slow. Yeah, 115. It's on the slower side for Kyogre, so I'm with it. We're going to lock it in. We're going to lock it down, and we're going to look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But, yo, before we even hop into battle number one, I'm going to say this again. I've been saying it in tons of videos. Your boy's got Twitter. Go ahead over there. Follow my Twitter. Link is down in the description below. And I'm also partnered with a brand new esports organization. We got Short Circuit Gaming. Partner with them. Go follow all their links down in the description below. We got brand new content coming along the way. Giveaways, all that good stuff. So I got all the links down in the description below. Head down there. And also, we got 10% off Acquire, which is their merchandise store. Link is down in the description below with code Short Circuit. And 10% off uh, Rogue Energy. I think I said 5% off Acquire. Yeah, it's 5% off Acquire, 10% off Rogue Energy with code Short Circuit. So, you guys should get on top of that. Get on top of that. But every, all the links are down in the description below. Help support your boy. And if you guys want to see more content, it's there. It's going to be there. But uh, he's Rocket Toxtricity alongside with Grimstone. It's a pretty cool lead. We can pop Trick him pretty freely, but I think he's going to Dynamax that... Uh, that little booger on the left side right there. That cool shiny toxicity. So I think he's going to either poison or paralyze, right? That's what his G-Max move does. But yeah, we're just going to pop a trick room. Pretty simple. And then just a nice lovely follow me here. And we slowly follow me. Expanding Force is looking pretty good here too. We can get off this trick room, yo. Expanding Force can do something. In this lovely surge. But let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. We're going to roll straight into trick room. Because you know, Ice Rider Kyox is a beast in trick room. Same thing with um, allowing Molwak. Malwak, Molwak. I call it Allow Alolan Malwak. If I can get that thing rolling, Trick Room will be buzzing. He's going to end up Dynamaxing Toxtricity, I think, right? G-Maxing? I love it. I love it. I want to see it. I want to see it. I want to see this dude. Look at him, yo. He's so sick. Yeah, his G-Max move is actually pretty solid. So it either poisons or paralyzes um, both Pokemon out on the field. So he has a chance of double paralyzing. That, could be, that can get ugly. I'd rather be poisoned than paralyzed, you know? Let's see how this one plays out here. But follow me. He's going to poke here. Uh, eat. We send it. Everybody come after me. What is he going for? What is this guy going for? He's going to set up a Reflect. That's totally fine. So he sets up a Reflect for turn one. Probably Lake Light. And then he's going to drop his G-Max move, right? G-Maxing. G-Max Sunshock. Yeah. Look at this, yo. So sick. Such a sick move. He's going to hit Ndidi. And can Ndidi eat that? Oh, yeah. All day. Ndidi soaks that. But the problem with this move is, right? Like I said, the poisons are paralyzed. Okay. I I'd rather be poisoned than paralyzed. If poison comes out. And a paralyzed comes out from him. That's totally fine. That is totally fine. Trick Room's going to poke here. And let's get buzzed. Let's get buzzed, and we're going to be able to pop an Expanded Force. And I'm actually glad Indeedee got paralyzed. Because now it's slower. <laughs> now it's slower. 
So that's cool. That is definitely cool. But from here, we can just drop a high horsepower, right? Let me double down toxicity. High horsepower into expanding force. That's lovely. That is lovely. That is lovely. Let's do it. Let's run it. Run it up. If we can get rid of toxicity here, this could be a solid, solid first turn. We're well, not first turn. Well, solid, solid turn for us. He's going to end up taunting me. That's fine. We have psychic train. Dummy head. Expanding force can come out here. It doesn't affect Grimstar, but we're going to chip up some damage on this toxicity. Oh, yes, sir. Yo, high horsepower should be able to come in here and clean this up, right? High horsepower comes in. Clean it up. Let's go. Get this thing on out of here. Even through the reflect. Get it on out of here. We love it. We love it. Yo, Toxtricity out for the count. He wasted a turn with the taunt. I'm, I'm pretty sure this battle is kind of over. The battle's pretty much over because now I'm chilling Nade boosted. I'm just going to send Glacial Lance left and right. I'm going to follow me out until Indeed he drops and then Malwak and then Dynamax him. Looking good, right? Looking good. Feeling good. Sounding good. Truck room with Trick Room with Ice Rider Calyx is too good, man. It's so broken. It is legit broken. You get it in there, like, dude, it's so hard to counter. If you don't have anything to counter up Trick Room, like, you were gonna roll. Actually, Necrozma is actually a pretty good, uh, pretty good Pokemon to counter me a little bit. So, I think just Glacial Lance is still gonna be the play here. You know, it's not very effective. We chip up some damage there. And I'm just gonna follow me across the board. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep following me till, till Ndidi goes down. Like I said, Ndidi should go down either this turn or next turn. Let me just bring out Malwak, get the Dynamax rolling. It's fine. We chillin', we chillin'. And then we have Kyogre to back with my Trick Room. Which is just lovely. Which is just lovely. Glacial Lance gonna poke through here. Yeah. Send it. End him? No, it's not gonna end him. But it's still gonna do a decent amount of damage. But he does have reflect up. Look at that. Half damage to Grimstarl. That's that's more than enough. Spirit Break comes through. Bill chipping up here, and we're just hoping that this uh, Necrozma can take it, take me out. Necrozma, please just take me out here. Sun Seal Strike, this should be able to take me out. I'm cool with that. Like I said, I, I want it in DD to go down here because we have a few trick room turns left. I would rather get out my Malwak, hit my Dynamax button, pretty much just solidify the battle, right? Because Glacial Lance will take out, uh, Glacial Lance will take out Grimstar on no problem. Then on top of that, I get my Dynamax Malwak and I just Max Flare that little boy over there. I should have him with Max Flare. Or I can hit him with a, a Poltergeist or a Max Phantasm. With all of them. I'm with all of them. Boy Malwak coming in high. Oh, is that shiny? I think it's gorgeous. Look at that. It looks like a little purple dinosaur. But yo, know, the flare looks sick. The, the flame, that just, that's just makes this Pokemon. But yeah, we're going to roll out with that. We're going to Dynamax. And do I go for a Phantasm? Lowers their defense stats. Actually, hold up. We go for a Phantasm? What would be better? It's just speeds. Malwak, you slower? I don't think Malwak's slower than him. 45. Oh, he is. He goes first. So, yeah, yo. We're going to drop defense here. All day we're dropping defense. We will drop defense. Probably take out Necrozma. Right? It, it, I think it would take out Necrozma. But if not, both their defenses drop. And Glacial Lance is just going to do more damage. I'm loving it. I'm loving it, yo. Malwak's slower than... than and Calyx, oh, dude, that's such a huge play. That's huge. That is huge. I love it. I love it. Works out perfect. Because that defense drop is just money. That defense drop makes the Glacial Lance do so much more damage. Especially because it's hitting both Pokemon, too. We're going to roll here. Is he protecting? He's going to set up a Light Treat. It don't matter. We're physical attacking. That was stupid. That was stupid. Stupid, but still. I think he, I think he wanted to use it because he knew he was going down. We're going to drop this thing. Built big old damage. Takes him out. No problem whatsoever. Malak hits really, really hard, especially with the Thick Club. Thick Club just makes them wow. beautiful. It's just gorgeous. It's lovely. Thick Club just makes him do some work. Glacial Lance is going to poke out here. and eh, it's going to be GG. Right? He has one more Pokemon, but he's definitely going to cancel out. The Grimstone is the eyes here. Minus one on defense. We're plus one on attack. I know he has Reflect up. But still, get him on out of here. Get him on out of here. Get this thing on out my face. Chilling is going to get boosted. Yo, this combo right here in Trick Room is just overpowered. We're just running it. No one's touching us. We're doing so much damage. It's just insane. That's why I think Glacial Rider Calyx is a little bit OP. Especially in Trick Room, dude. You get him thriving. You hit somebody with Glacial Lance. And once you get that plus one rolling, it's just it's just game over for me. It is just game over. I think we have one more turn left in Trick Room. But I'm just drop a high horsepower. Alongside with the Phantasm again. And I think our opponent cancels the battle regardless, right? Answer the battle. You, you don't have to say in here. You don't have to say in here. And I'm pretty sure Cinderaces don't even roll protect. Just cancel the battle. Just cancel the battle. You know you have no shot. No shot here. He doesn't cancel the battle. Phantasm's gonna poke through here. This actually might end him here, right? Let's go. One hit KO all day, yo. I told you. Malwak hits like a truck. But there it is. One and out. Let's go hop to our second battle. Look to go back to back. Second battle coming at you guys, and we're going up against a heavy meta squad. Rillaboom, Incineroar, Zacian, Kyogre, Amoongus, Wimscott. Come on, yo. Does it get more meta than that? I do not think so. I do not think so. But how should we go into this one? How should we play? I think he definitely brings a Rillaboom. And Rillaboom could be a little bit of a pain due to Kyogre. But I think Trick Room's to call here again. 
Trick Room is probably the call, right? Follow me. He can fake me out, but actually he can't with Ndidi. Oh, yeah, let's say we pop Trick Room. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking we bring same squad. I think we bring same squad or we either bring Urshfu over Kyogre. Because Urshfu could do some work. He could definitely do some work. I really do like Urshfu. But Kyogre's Kyogre, you know? Kyogre is Kyogre. So, you know what? We're going to bring the same squad. We're going to get buzzing with these guys. It's just perfect for the situation, I feel like. It's just money. It's just money. Because he can't taunt me in the Psychic Terrain. Like, dude, Psychic Terrain is just insanely powerful at setting up trigger or helping. Like, indeed, he's a perfect Pokemon. He follows me. He's a shot. He kind of just rolls out from there. Right? Unless he leads Kyogre. That would be, like, our only problem. Please don't lead Kyogre. That hurts. That hurts the soul. That hurts the soul. Uh, do we just stay in there and drop a C bomb? Maybe. That could. That could be good. We know he's gonna water spell. We know it's gonna be like a tip, maybe a helping hand. To a water. Oh, that's ugly. That is ugly. We don't like that. We don't like that. Do I Dynamax right off the rip? No. 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 I try to pop the trick room. I think I try to pop the trick room and I just drop an expanding force. Right. I think I try to pop it. I'm gonna need it. I'm gonna need it. We're gonna try to pop the trick room. I'll drop the expanding force. We'll, we'll, we'll roll like that. We'll roll like that, but I'm, I'm terrified here. I am terrified. Let's see what he does here. Water spouse can kill. So, no helping hand. We might be fine with this. What's Whimsy going for? Whimsy's my, my little problem. The so follow me could have been the play here. Should have followed me because, oh, we might go down here. What is Whimsy going for? Is that a jack button? Please be a jack button. Cool. Perfect. Okay, so Trick Room is out and about. We love it. We love it. That's huge for us. Thank God the thing was a jack button because I think it was Moon Blasting or something into my Calyrex. That could have been a huge problem. Could have been a huge problem. He's going to bring out a Moongus. That's totally fine. We can, oh, we got Glacial Lances ready to roll. We got Glacial Lances ready to roll. I don't know if I should send the Glacial Lances. I think I am going to. I think I am going to. We just send the Glacial Lance here. Do some damage and then we just expand the Force over onto the Kyogre slot. I like it. I dig it. I like it. I dig it. It really does. But yeah, we have to check him out here. What the heck is that? Is he a quick call? Oh, he's protecting anyway. Okay, cool. Protecting anyway. That's totally fine. Oh my god, he has quick claw. What is this? There's a Moongus with quick claw. Uh, could you imagine if he was Sporn? Could have did me so dirty. Could have did me so dirty. We're going to chip up some damage on this Kyogre. Uh, hopefully, we can uh, do a decent one. Let's see. Not too bad. Expanded Force should come out here before. Kyogre goes. So if he's going for another water spot, that could be good for us. But if he goes for an origin pulse, we're definitely both dead. But I'm fine with if we both die, because then I just bring out Matwack. We get that Dynamax rolling. Let's see what he's doing. He's going for an origin pulse. Yeah, we're both dead. Alright, so we're, we're both going to drop out here. I don't feel like this battle's a total loss right now. I don't feel like this battle is a total loss. Do not feel that. I do not feel that. Yeah, Matwack can do some more. Imagine if we would have C bomb there. That been more fun. Yeah, we're going to bring out these two. Um, I'm trying to think of what to do. I really want to drop a flare, but at the same time, it's just like, nah, <laughs> it's like, nah, yo, I can't do it. Um, what do we do? What is our play? What is our play? We gotta definitely thunder across on this slot. I think we just phantasm, right? I think we just phantasm. I think we double down into Kyogre slot. I do not see Kyogre really protecting here. I see either like a follow me or something like that coming out here. That's one place. We're gonna Dynamax. Time to Dynamax. We gotta get buzzing with this. Wow, dude. Which I wish I would have had like one more turn with my Calyrex. It could be huge. Or I, or I wish I would have C bomb an attack higher. Or just at least picked up one KO before these two. Now we're now we're sitting a little tough, but I still feel like we can have have a good time. But uh, we can get rid of this Kyogre here. See that's one place. You're not protecting them. He's gonna Dynamax. That eats Dynamax Kyogre. This could be real good for us. This could be real good for us because this might be a bad move. We shall see. Unless he's just Rage Powder and just kind of thriving out from there. Yeah, because if he Rage Powder here, he's going to absolutely dump on me. He's going to absolutely dump on me. But if he's not, we have a chance to just big, big time KO. Rage Powder. He's going to Spore. Okay. Okay. I'm kind of cool with that because I think we take out Kai over here. Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. Phantasm coming in hot. Take him out. Let's go. Yo, that's big. That is big. That's a big time KO right there. That is a big, big time KO. This battle is going to be a lot closer than I thought. You can't spore me, yo. Spore's a pain, but... 
That is annoying. That's the only problem. Like, Amoongus and Trick Room is just phenomenal. He's just, here, go to sleep. Here, go to sleep. And it and can't miss. And it can't miss. It just does me dirty. So we know he has Wormscott in the back end. We know he, he can't Dynamax anymore. And he's going to throw out his final Pokemon, which is going to be disaster. I think I just had to tackle into that. Right? I think I'm just going to have to flare and change the weather. Do I change the weather? I don't want I really don't want to change the weather. Because once my boy wakes up, he's going to be thriving. I don't, I don't... I think he goes for a... I think he goes for a... My Malwak, right? Malwak should be able to do good on a blade, but still, yo. Like, look at this, yo. Spores do me so dirty. Spores do me so dirty. We need my boy to wake up. We need Kyogre to wake up. Kyogre have quick naps? No, he doesn't. That's whack. Leave me alone. Let's see what he's doing with this. He's going for a play rough. Kyogre should be able to soak that up pretty well. Sir, actually, that did a lot more than I thought I was going to do. <laughs> and we're, we're just going to have to get ready to drop an Origin Pulse. The Origin Pulse coming in hot. And then we're just going to Phantasm. Run it. Run it! I hate this game. I hate this game. <laughs> yo, dude, Amoongus doing me so dirty here. If I get rid of Zassi, we could... Yo, we could be thriving here. Amoongus is a pain, though. Amoongus is such a pain. He's going to clear Smog. Is that KO me? You're the man, Kyogre. You're the man. You're the man. Malwax sleep. Yo, Kyogre, can you wake up here? Kyogre! Yo, three turns! Three turns! Get out of my face here. What's he rolling for? Behemoth Blade? That's fine. That's fine, but he plays can come in here. And is that who you going after with that? Going after my Mawak. Mawak? How much damage is that really gonna be? Nice. Cool. So Mawak's gonna be able to soak that. Rain's gonna stop. Oh, I hate this game so much. I hate this game more than anything. And everything's back to normal. So rough. That is so rough. We're definitely gonna lose this battle. The battle's over with. I'm a Mawak slumped. Absolutely slumped. We gotta go for an origin pulse. See how much damage we can really do with that. And then just flare puts across, right? Wow, dude, the spore really doing me dirty. If he didn't put me to sleep like that, I would have been thriving. I feel like we had this battle locked up. But still, we don't get swept. We take out one of his Pokemon. Indi or who was it? Who did we take out? It was uh, the Kyogre. We took out the Dynamax Kyogre. Oh, that, and, and, and it makes sense why he Dynamax Kyogre. He had Zassian. Again. Zassian and Moongus and Wimscott. He had a Dynamax to Kyogre. But we eat this. Hold up. Wait a minute. You're saying there's a chance. Kyogre wakes up. They're saying there's a chance here. Origin Pulse going to fly here. And now, yeah, we're dead. We're dead all day. Tell you why we're dead because I'm gonna die to recoil damage to do this flare blitz. We're gonna die, we're gonna die to recoil right here. Flare blitz poking out here. We sending it. Bang, we do take out the Zassy, which is pretty cool, but yeah, we're dead. We're dead all day. Sorry, sorry, Malwak. Recoil damage. Doing you in. Doing you in here. Yep. If Malwak was still alive, we, I'm not gonna lie, we had a shot there. If Malwak was still alive, because Clear Smog would have came here. And yeah, it would have been a 2 on 1. That would have been tough, but still, yo, GG's. We're 1 on 1. Let's go hop into our third and final. Look for that winning record. What are we going up against here in battle number 3? I love it, though. Is this a Trick Room team? Look at these Pokemon. Chandelure, Dragalge, who, uh, dude, I think that's one of the coolest Pokemon in the game right now. And then he has uh, Dusclops, Vickavolt, Chandelure to pop Trick Room, Excalibur, and Doug Trio. No restricted mods. That's so cool. That is so cool. And you know what? I'm going to go Calyrex, and I'm going to lead Tornadus, just so I can leer it and kind of get after the battle that way. Or I can just lead Urshfu. I really do like leading Urshfu. You know, we're going to lead Ursh Urshfu. We're going to go Calyrex, Urshfu. We're going to bring Malwak and Kyogre. We're just going to go all hyper offensive here. We're going to get rolling out here and let's grab ourselves a winning record. But yo, dude, this guy's team is so cool. We're sitting at one and one though. We have to win this battle. We got to get a win here. But dude, the dude's team is, yo, it's fire. It is fire. But I think we can just hyper offense and kind of just go through these guys, right? I hope so. I do hope so. I do hope so. But this team's actually a lot of fun to use. I really do like this team. It's definitely good for high master team. Definitely good for high master. He's gonna lead these two. I'm cool with it. Do I pop a trick room? Do I pop a trick room? I'm thinking of popping a trick room. Cause it's Duck Trio. Really look at <laughs> look at Duck Trio. He might Dynamax Duck Trio. Really cool Pokemon. Really cool Pokemon. And I could just go for a Glacial Lance. I'm thinking about them, but yeah, yeah. Trick room's gonna be my play all day. Pop a trick room. Pop a trick room. We'll go for a Wicked Blow. We'll deal some damage. First. I'm loving it. See what he does. Memento. He's going to go for a memento. <laughs> Look at this guy. He's going to memento me. He's going to memento me. Turn one, he mementos me. I'm just going to swap. What kind of play was that? That was real whack. We can blow going to come through here. I'm just going to swap it to my Malwak at this point. He'll chip up some big damage on that thing. Sucker Punch could probably take it out, but uh, I'd rather go for another Wicked Blow. Here comes Thriving. Could you imagine if Dust Cops popping Trick Room? I'd be upset. You son of a bitch! What? What are you doing? Knock it off! 
knock it off. But that actually makes me look like I had a good read. But now he's probably going to pop another Trick Room. And I'll allow it. I'll swap into Malwax and let him pop the Trick Room. And then I'll just uh, use my Urshfu to hit up on the other slot. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go on the Dragalge. Dragalge is scary, man. Pokemon's a beast. Pokemon's a beast, but look at my stats. Absolutely in the dumpster. Let's swap you. Let's go right into uh, Malwak here. And then we are going to just uh, go into another Wicked Pro. Right over into this Pokemon. Right into Dragalge, because I'm hoping that thing could just pop another Trick Room. I get in my Malwak, Dynamax him, have my Calyrex in the back. Everything will be fine. But yo, Memento turn one. <laughs> I thought this Duck Tree was going to try to get a shot off on me. I really thought that. But usually you want you roll out with mementos like after the fact, you know? Not not full HP. Not full HP. But we'll swap to Cali. Cali Rex, get out there, Malwack. Show him your club. Show him your flame and bone club. Look at that thing. I'm so sick. But yo, look at Malwack's hands. He has a little Lego hands. See that? He's holding it like this. Little Lego hands. <laughs> I gotta I gotta get another look at that, yo. Yeah, it's Lego hands, but yo, this, uh, what is this, this seahorse? That's why I love this Pokemon. Seahorses are so cool. This, this lovely little seahorse is, is Dynamax, and I know it's really bulky. I know it is pretty bulky. Let's see what it does. Wicked Boy's gonna poke through here. Yeah, I'm sending it. And we're gonna guarantee crit, but yo, look at Malwax's little Lego hands. Man. I'm loving it. One wind's gonna fly here. Who are you going after? Going after that side. That's totally fine. He's gonna get that attack. Ooh, kicks me out one shot. He's gonna get that attack drop, though. It's kind of scary, and we're hoping that this Duskop just pops trick that's not, just pop trigger. That's what I'm hoping here. Thank you. Thank you. Now I can bring back out Calyrex with all of its stats ready to roll. And we can get buzzing here. Cali, get out of here. We'll save Kyogre for the back. So I'm with my boy doing, doing work all day like that. Get Dynamax to Calyrex. I don't, I don't see a point with Dynamax to Calyrex. I feel like we, we should Dynamax uh, I feel like we should Dynamax to Malwak. Malwak. But still, yo, it's okay. just kind of scary. I'm not going to sit here and lie. Galgi is kind of scary. I don't know its speed. I know it's super slow. I know it's like a more so a Trick Room So we'll see how this one plays out. I want to see. I want to see how the speeds work because this could, it could be bad. Yo, Dragalge hits like an absolute truck. But if we get off this Glacial Lance, mwah, big old damage coming. Up. But even though my boy's minus one here, I still feel like he's our Dynamax Mon. We're in a Trick Room. He's he's pretty slow and he hits. He still hits pretty hard with that thick club. So that's my play. That's my play all day. And he's gonna go for a bulldoze. He's gonna slow down everybody, which uh, I don't really care for. What's it going to do? Slow down everybody and just make the speeds the same? Oh, he's proper policy. That's what he's doing. Okay, so one of my Pokemon are going to die here. Unless we go first. Let's see how this one plays. He's popping policy. Usually I roll like a Soul Vest on my Dragology, but we just policy ain't too shabby. Phantasm going to come out here first. We're going to take out that Scop's no problem. We're going to get Defense Drop. So if Calyrex can go next, that is huge because this thing's minus one on defense. And then a Glacial Lance. Woo! God dang. And I think Calyrex should go next, unless Dragalge is in between their speeds. And of course he is. Go after my Malwak. Hit my Malwak, please. I'm gonna take out my Calyrex. God dang it, dude. God dang it. But it's good to know that my Malwak actually is still Okay, so my attack's dropping. My attack's dropping. We're gonna have to bring out Kyogre. Oh, yo, Dragalge is buzzing, dude. He's buzzing. Dude's buzzing. Wow. Okay, so he's buzzing. We're minus two. We're minus two. He is minus one on defense board. And Vicka... Vicka Volt. Here, of course, Vickavolt comes out here. Uh, what do we do? I think he's gonna worm one into my Malwak, right? He's definitely gonna worm one into my Malwak, and at this point, I think I'm just going to drop a Phantasm. You, and just go for the Origin Pulse. Just go for the Origin Pulse. We gotta hope my Kyogre can eat up this uh, this Vickavolt Thundershock. Guys, just gonna fly through it, and yeah, we're... that's GGs. That's GGs all day. That's GGs all day. This guy's Trick Room team just out Trick Room me. This Dragalge is a monster in Trick Room. An absolute monster. And he has no restricted mods. Wow, yo. One and two for today's video. Wow, Thunder's gonna come through here. This is probably gonna pick up the KO, yo. He's just had so many Pokemon just do absolute work on him. Look at that, yo. Look at that. Oh, that's scary. It's terrifying. Origin Pulse gonna fly through here. That's a decent amount of damage, but not enough. But not enough. Not even close to being enough. But he is... Wait a minute. Let me see... Uh, Hold up. Wait, wait a minute. Let me see something real quick. Let me turn his life in Trick Room. Two. If I can land a double protect, we can win. It's the only way. If I can land a double protect, we can win this battle. But that's the only way. <laughs> that is the only way. Could you imagine? Yo, we're going to go for it. It might as well, right? We have to land a double protect and then just origin pulse out. It's doable. It's definitely doable. But we have to. It, it comes down to this right here. 
Come on, yo, don't protect land, yo. I swear. Kyogre! <laughs> Could you imagine if we landed that? Dude, our, our, our boy would have been so upset if we landed double protect into Orgy Pulse and out tricking. That would have been a power move. One and two for today's video. Got to show off this team actually really well. We got the Malwak and Calyrex combo out in battle number one. And battles number two and three, we might have lost them, but we got the other Pokemon out there and rolled out from there. But that third battle, could you imagine if we won that one? Double protect into an Orgy Pulse. If we landed that second protect, it would have been GG's because my Kyogre would have been able to outspeed. And we would have just rolled out from there, dropped an the Orgy Pulse, picked up the easy double kill, and won the battle. And then our opponent would have been mad. And rightfully so. Rightfully so. But guys, that is going to be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.